So we are going to see how you multiply. This is x squared plus x plus 1. And this is x squared plus 1 modulo x cube, x cube plus x plus 1. I think uh, in the British world, typically you put the multiplication sign in front here. And in the continental world, you put it in the back here. And putting both are there, you don't get confused. <laughs> OK, what's the other? So we are going to multiply first, as usual, 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And you get x squared, x squared plus x plus 1, which we, for simplicity, write just like this. Then we have to multiply 0 plus x squared plus x plus 1. That's 0. Typically, you don't do anything, right? Yeah. However, in this algorithm, we are going to keep track of what would have happened if we had had a 1 here. Because we are going to use the result in the next value. We don't want to multiply directly x squared with the values which have been computed. So we are going to multiply this. If we would have had here uh, 1, we would have obtained 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 would, right? 1 times one, x times 1 is x, x times x uh, is x squared, x times x squared is an x cubed. So basically, it's shifted as in the good old multiplication. There is something to beware. This is an x cubed, and we are working modulo x cubed plus x plus 1. So this x cubed would be reduced. We want to reduce it immediately. So we are going to say that x cubed right, yes, divided by um, x cubed plus x plus 1 is going to be equal with, well, this one enters once there, and you get x squared plus x plus 1, and the reminder is 1, 1. Reminder, 1, 1. So I'm going to immediately reduce this modulo or modulus polynomial, and it's going to be equal with 1, 1. I can cut it. It's an addition. So one term of the addition got an x cubed plus x cubed plus 1. It's going to remain x squared plus. So x cubed plus x squared plus x. I'm going to remain with x squared plus x. And instead of this x cubed, I'm going to be reducing it as in usual modular arithmetic into x plus 1. I'm centralizing this result because the result of multiplying this virtual x with our x squared plus x plus 1, and I'm getting, okay, just these two terms, just the result of this intermediary multiplication, and x squared plus 1. And at this moment, I'm actually noticing, I should not forget, this was a 0, it was not a 1. So this is not this. This one was a 1. not use, but I'm looking next. When I'm going to multiply x squared times x times 1 plus x plus x squared, I may notice that this is a result of, a of multiplying x and one more x. So multiplying this is the same as multiplying the value here with one more x. So rather than multiplying x squared with the first term, I'm multiplying x with this, and I'm getting just a shift here from this intermediary value. Okay, so I'm getting this shifted by one position. I multiply this with x. This is why I did this computation. Like that, instead of multiplying x squared, which would have been difficult, I'm multiplying just with x, which is a single shift. And now again, this becomes x cubed plus x squared plus, plus x squared plus x plus no, 1. 
this one again reduces according to the same mechanism as earlier. I'm going to replace this again with the one one. I'm getting just this to sense I could get it. One x or one is zero. One x or zero is one. 